Hey guys, Matt from SoundRolling.com, of course, on the uh, SoundRolling channel on YouTube. Um, wanted to first put out there that uh, over the weekend, so I don't know what date it's going to be, like the 19th, I'll be in Cologne, Germany, and some of the 20th. And then also on the 20th, I'll be in Berlin, Germany, uh, through, I'll be working on the on the 21st, so that won't really count, and leaving on on the night or maybe the Tuesday morning. So hopefully, if you can get in the comments below if you're in Germany, then um, yeah, please hit me up. And then I'm in Ibiza, so if anyone happens to be in Ibiza who's a sound soundy as well, uh, then that would be awesome as well. So just wanted to get that out of the way first. Um, wanted to make this little episode uh, kind of all about career development um, and kind of where I've been generally focusing and how that's kind of worked out. Um, pretty early on, I decided uh, going to film school, did a lot of film, um, also had a couple of experiences uh, on doing dailies on kind of uh, TV dramas and things like that. Figured out that kind of wasn't the thing for me, kind of like um, film, uh, just almost just not necessarily from a quality perspective, but even just the quality of the process, uh, if that's kind of a better definition of it. Um, TV sometimes seems a bit kind of kind of throw away, fix like more fix it and and make it than um, try and make it right the first time. But again, that's just my experience. Um, and again, if you are in TV drama, there's plenty of people doing absolutely fantastic things in in almost like terrible circumstances sometimes. <laughs> doing doing period dramas on flight paths, for instance. Um, so. Yeah, I, I figured that out that early on. Now, trying to use um, hindsight, which is obviously 2020 uh, vision, looking back um, six years ago, uh, I definitely think it's still the right choice. I kind of uh, went for film and what that actually allowed me to do by defining where I wanted to go. It allowed me to choose the kind of right opportunities um, to kind of definitely build a career that is varied and yet still... Um, in depth in terms of uh, the actual like recording of the sound location sound especially um, not to mention the post-production is a very creative but also a very technical process um, so you do have to take kind of both into account but using film as a general term for also commercials like short films are basically now creative content in terms of trying to get across like more of a branding message um, than anything else um, and again, at the moment, there's more work than ever, um, just because um, creative content is basically now the new form of commercials, um, and they make more of them, which is even better. Uh, back in the day, I'm sure people would spend um, like millions of pounds just on one commercial, whereas now they maybe spend a few less million, and they also make a hell of a lot of other content on the side. So there's definitely more work, more people out there, which is great. Uh, for us, obviously, and so I kind of found my niche, and so I just wanted to kind of just highlight the point of niches are. So let me let me bring this back to marketing because it's an easier example. So people originally thought that you had to make a really specific, unique product for a certain individual, and that was how you're going to make all your money. But actually, niche marketing is a big uh, kind of misconception of how to market, and so what you do is you you say. For instance, you have the best Hoover in the world or the best washing up liquid, but then the niche marketing is then appealing to a certain demographic and marketing to them. And so I feel with the whole film as my kind of film sound, as my kind of uh, product or offering to the rest of the market, now my niche is saying, well, a short film, a feature film, creative content, commercials... You're trying to tell a story. You're trying to have a narrative. Um, and so this is what I can definitely offer. So that is an example of kind of niche marketing yourself, but without kind of pigeonholing yourself in terms of just doing specifically uh, period drama or just children's television or just corporate video or just uh, short films. Um, so I think that's how I've managed to kind of diversify uh, my portfolio a lot more than many others have been able to do. Um, just purely because I've used the, the tagline of film, but I've managed to also then do podcasts, even music videos, documentaries, television, I've managed games, 
um, sound effects recording, um, just sound design, just sound editing. And so by diversifying, but under an umbrella of film, it's a, it's a kind of universal product that everyone understands. Um, and then you just tailor it to the actual experience that you want the end user to have. So just thought that would be really interesting to kind of point out to people in terms of how I've kind of aimed my career. I haven't necessarily gone, okay, well, in um, six years time, I want to be working on Star Wars. That's not really what I've been interested in yet. Um, I'm sure I'll eventually get there, maybe. I don't know. That's not really in my future at the moment. Um, but at the moment, it's trying to do the independent features. It's trying to do the short films, the creative content, the commercials. Um, and that kind of mix gives me both really independent, like unique, original kind of content on a scale where I can be more involved and so have more input on the creative process. But at the same time, make a really good living uh, because of obviously the creative content side and the commercial side of things. So that's how I've kind of managed to mix stuff. Um, so I just kind of want to put it out there that you don't necessarily have to, like definitely later on, you will get kind of siloed into a certain thing that you're known for. But if you can manage to keep juggling those plates long enough, um, then you can definitely make your make your name known in a number of areas. And basically all you have to do is keep juggling. And if you can keep juggling, uh, then you can actually have a lot more options open um, than quite a few other people have. Uh, mainly also because of the networks. If you have a network in feature films, a network in short films, a network in creative content, a network in commercials, a network in documentaries, you've got at least like four more networks than someone who's only in TV dramas. Uh, for instance, even though obviously TV dramas run for longer, if you're in that racket, then it's really good. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd throw that out there because there isn't that much kind of uh, career advice. Um, I remember this horrible example of we had um, a researcher come to our um, our film school and talk about their career. And I felt really sad for that person. That person was a researcher for like five years and they basically expected to be on set. And they thought that being a researcher for five years, then eventually being a runner, then eventually being something else. And I kind of looked at that person and going, this is going to change a lot. You're not going to have to invest so much time in just being known as one thing if you're good enough. Um, so let me know in the comments what you think about that how you're trying to diversify. There's obviously a lot of jobs out there, but what are you trying to be known for? I'd really like to kind of hear your thoughts on that. Uh, for me, the term, the umbrella term is film. Um, film as well uh, kind of says, um, I guess, a certain authority as well. And once you can kind of throw in documentary and stuff, then you can easily transition and be a bit more fluid in terms of moving into television, moving into even radio, podcast, like live events, um, a lot of, doing a lot of Facebook Live as well. Um, anyway, don't want to keep this going on anymore, but let me know in the comments down below uh, what you think about your career development and how you're kind of positioning yourself uh, to make sure that you're kind of fine in the future and not necessarily pigeonholed so far. So I've been Matt Price. You can always, of course, like this video, subscribe. There will be daily content now. I'm back at it, um, just like it says in the titles. Um, so until next time, also, if you're in Cologne, Berlin, hit me up in the comments down below for this weekend, and uh, we'll try and make something happen. Maybe even I beef there next weekend. So until then, see you later.